another aspect that I liked in Swami is this. The way how he started education institutions that gave free education to everybody. And the medical services he extended to everybody, free to everybody. And nothing is charged. The hospitals have got the equipment, latest. The education institutions have got latest equipment. No charging anywhere, totally free of charge. And the sixth I liked was the voluntary services extended here, all over the world, across the globe, in all such organizations. They do it as spiritual exercise. This has helped me a lot. And seventhly, he, the purpose of any activity, the purpose of uh, any religion is to see the divinity within. You have to see God within yourself. Whatever you do outside, but you must feel Him inside. And you should see Him in everyone alike. Because God is one, He is in everyone. That's what He said. And particularly when He said, Love all, serve all. Well, there cannot be greater, higher slogan than this. Love all, serve all. The biggest thing that a gift He has given. And further He said, We cannot be divided on grounds of caste and creeds. Casteless society, creedless society. Why? Because there's only one caste, the caste of humanity. There's only one religion, the religion of love. That's what Bhagavan says. This unites us all together. This establishes brotherhood of man and fatherhood of God. You may go call God by any name, but godliness in this is necessary. Godliness, godly qualities, that's absolute necessary. That's what Baba said. Sai Baba's moment is very special and unique because people have come to light. Other religions have come to light after the religious leaders left their body. But Baba accomplished it, achieved it while he was in the physical body. In such an organization, has spread all over the world while he was in his body. There are five international conferences have been held here. It's not an ordinary thing. There is no country that has not heard of him. And almost all countries are represented here. This universality, this global approach, this Catholicity appealed to me very much. This is all about the Sai movement the infrastructure he developed for the organization and the prescribed way in which Prashantinam activity is going on. Prashanti is style of living. You get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, attend Nagar Sankirtan, a disciplined life. Start early. So get up early. Participate in Nagar Sankirtan. Start the day with love. Start the day by repeating God's name. That's what it is. And then you can have your breakfast and at 9 o'clock, sharp in the morning, your bhajans there. And after bhajans, you have some time and by 11 o'clock, lunch time. And after that, you'll have the snack in the afternoon and the snack is exactly at 3 o'clock. Again, you'll be back for Vedam by 4.30 and bhajan will be over by exactly by 6 o'clock. All lights of the ashram will be off by 9 o'clock in the night. Therefore, get up early. That ensures good health. Therefore, to be wise enough, a physical discipline is necessary. Today, people fall sick because they don't have discipline. Prashanti style of living ensures physical fitness, mental sharpness, and spiritual alertness. These three body, mind and intellect have got uniform growth, uniform development at the same time. And not only that, he has given a kind of uh, a procedure, the, what we call Shavadal, they do their activity and go giving place to next boy, next batch. Like that they come by turns. And not only that, 
every festival will have a cultural program. It has got a format. Therefore, a format has been given, an infrastructure has been developed, and look at the buildings here. At all, when you come to Prashant Nilayam, reach here, you find villages which are very, very poor. The, the hamlets almost. By the time you come to Prashant Nilayam, you find gigantic buildings. All latest facilities. You have got here internet, Wi-Fi, what not. Today, geysers, air conditioners, all these things are provided here. When I came to Prashant Nilayam about 40 years ago, None of these things existed. We had to live, uh, live here in a very simple way. But today, it is, it is in a global style. In global style, it caters to the requirements of everybody. We have North Indian canteen, South Indian canteen, a canteen for foreigners exclusively, so that you can have food of your choice. We have got the stores inside, and you have all sorts of uh, things are available to you. You have got the library there inside. And we have conference hall. And uh, we have got the museum here. Chaitanya Jyoti, which is a museum built over there by cooperative participation of the devotees from Thailand, Indonesia, Singapore, Japan, Hong Kong, which is developed in a most uh, uh, sophisticated manner. The top part is of Thailand's style and the pillars are there, Japanese fashion. You have got the global touch in Chaitanya Jyoti. And if you go to the Hillview Stadium, see such a Hillview Stadium, you find huge statues of the leaders of all religions, a wide campus. And college buildings are most beautiful of architecture, uh, of architectural excellence. See the hospital how beautiful it is. It is designed by an engineer, an engineer uh, who works in Buckingham Palace, England, I believe. That engineer designed whole thing. Beautiful thing. A beautiful piece of art. When you go to the hospital, you don't find any anybody uh, with the noise or any disturbance. You don't find any cotton on the ground. No blood stain taints like that. Perfectly clean. Very neat. Maintained by several other voluntary services. They are not paid people. They are not servants. Of course, few doctors and few of nurses are paid. There is few, they are servants. But all the rest are several other that maintain the cleanliness, neatness of the hospital. Go anytime. It is perfectly neat. That is Swami's grace. The hospital is built in eight months, believe me or not, a record time, and made the Prime Minister of this country, former, the former, former Prime Minister of this country, Atal Bahar Vajpayee said, governments cannot do it in a record time as Baba did it. And look at the university. The university produced students of outstanding nature. They stand outstanding in this country. They also appear for us planning his vision, his program, caters to material world together with spiritual achievement, together with spiritual excellence. So be materialistic with spiritual goal, with spiritual aspirations, something like a tree that has roots here on the ground, in the ground, and fruits above. So fruit spirituality, roots material life, go together in the tree of life that is Baba's concept of life. I'm so happy as I think of this. I can go on and on forever and ever for any length of time, having spent 45 years of my life in along the Sai path. And for the last 23 years, I translated Swami discourses from Telugu to English. And I authored about 50 books and I went round around 60 countries by the divine grace of Bhagwan. This is all the divine design. This is all Baba's plan. Left to me as an individual, it is impossible for me to get anything done. It is His will. He has grown me up. 
he has groomed me up and he has made me uh, do all this work and therefore not only me that th millions of devotees around the world were inspired by him doctors engineers scientists business people students all class of people are inspired by his message he has shown his omnipresence and his omniscience his omni potence in every way across the globe many people experience him any time the moment they think of him anybody will receive help from him the moment they pray to him that's how they experience his divinity that's all one side but unfortunately as holy bible said there will be false teachers who will be coming in due course of time who claim to, who claim to be they are the second coming of jesus christ that's how they the public are cheated that's what the holy bible says so naturally in every religion we find false gurus and false teachers they also claim to be avatars but it is for us to decide what is real what is not who is genuine who is false it is for us because he has given us the mind to think he has given us the intellect to decide and judge so let me know what is truth what is not let me not run after anybody god is one that's all there cannot be two gods and three gods impossible so having been with him having lived with him having experienced him i am not going to accept anybody as substitute for god you may substitute anything but you cannot substitute your god because there is only one god therefore we as sai devotees what we should do is we should strengthen our devotion we should stand united first we should have purity of our hearts but not selfishness what selfishness like a kind of a uh, crave craze for money craving for position indulging in politics that's all trash we should be free from politics properties and positions such provocations such attractions such distractions we should be free from them then only we can claim to be pure that's what purity is purity does not mean simply having a bath and applying some spray on the body is not that purity means if you are not carried away by pro by politics positions and properties then you are pure purity with this purity we can stand united that real unity with based on purity and unity we can experience the divinity that we as i devotees have to cultivate we should not encourage anybody to fight with each other there should not be any groupism or any selfishness but unfortunately what our people have been doing in the recent years they go on criticizing somebody else they go on attacking somebody else but i would appeal to you be pure for yourself charity begins at home find out what mistakes you have find out your needs find out the areas that you wish to develop that you wish to grow that you wish to evolve so that we be strong let's not waste time by criticizing others let's not waste time by attacking anybody it's all it will not help you by just criticizing my neighbor saying that his son has come up that doesn't mean that my son will come up no no so by feeling jealous of somebody you can never improve for you for yourself work for yourself be perfect be ideal the rest of the world will follow you that's what i say let's not run after anybody what is it that baba has not given you what is that you have not got what is that anybody can give you what baba has not given till today he has given us everything what more you want it's only our monkey mindedness it's only our monkey mind that will make us jump from one branch to another branch of trees therefore my friends with folded hands my sincere appeal to brothers and sisters all over the globe to stand united 
to be pure in their hearts, to realize the divinity within, and to live up to his mission, and to follow his teachings first, and be an ideal to the rest. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for your time. May Bhagwan be with you forever and ever more. Sai Ram. Thank you. Vorrei sapere una dom- vorrei fare una domanda. Cosa ne pensa lui della situazione di, di Modenalli e come ci si deve comportare nei centri? Modenalli viene una certa sera. Oh, yes. Sia libero di parlare, libero. One and a half hours from here, there is a place by name Modenalli in the state of Karnataka. From Modenalli, it takes one hour for you to reach Bangalore. In other words, Mudan Ali is in between Bangalore and Puttaparthi, or what you call Prashantinale. Some have left the parental organization and they have got their own aims, their own objectives, their own plans of action. After Swami left, these people grouped and formed a separate organization there in Mudanahalli. They have taken up similar, similar programs like education and medical care. They constructed huge buildings, a university also, I believe, and a college for women, and a big auditorium. All buildings, so many things they had. But the only thing I am not able to accept is this. They brought one student from Satyasa University and they started worshipping him as Baba. How can a student of Swami University be a Baba? How can you accept him? They made him sit on a chair. They touch his feet. He wears the same dress of Swami. He materializes things for you. And he gives interviews, collecting letters. This I am not able to swallow. But many people who have not understood the philosophy of Swami, the spiritual content of Swami, they run after such, uh, such falsehood, such pretentious gurus, because they always run after some name and form, that's all. They don't understand the spirit. Therefore, I feel Mudanahali is a kind of rival organization started by some disgruntled group and attracting devotees. People say that they openly ask for donations and most of the people have run away from here. Uh, many rich people are tempted to go because of ego problem. They will have extra courtesies, extra respect and good positions uh, and these things. That's all worldly. It is a corporate culture. The corporate culture or business culture will make you will make you extra respectful to attract them. That's what has been going on. But that's not the purpose of an organization. The purpose of the organization is self-emancipation, self-growth. You have to grow for yourself. It's not the question of anybody helping you. Even a guru can show you a direction, but guru will not carry you in his arms. You have to work out for your own liberation. Nobody can help you. Gurus also cannot help you. They will show you the way. But unfortunately, people have forgotten Swami's teachings. And further, Swami said, I have no agencies. I have no intermediate person. I don't speak through anybody. I don't possess anybody. My connection with devotees is heart to heart, love to love, that's all. There is no person in between. When he said it, how can you bring a student acting like such Sai Baba and all people behaving that he is Baba? I don't know who are mistaken. Either that boy or these people or both, I do not know. I do not know. What you want? What you want? What is not available here? What is that is available there extra? That's what I want to know. Do they, uh, anything like uh, a vehicle or a transport straight to heaven? No. 
straight to paradise no you have to do your sadhana you have to work for yourself therefore i pity the present state i pity the present times that we are in and most unfortunately our people have been looking at mudanhalli more than looking at themselves what should we do to improve this place what should i do to help devotees come more and more repeatedly that's what we should think here rather simply criticize and attacking them i am clear everywhere state level national level international level my views are made open everybody that i am not for modern heli by in any stand i don't accept it i don't accept it i cannot encourage it because that moment is not in tune in line with baba teachings it is just against but at the same time i say there is every need to improve our quality of life to improve our sai movement to improve our activities to bring people together find out the areas where we can still improve be democratic be free talking to everybody be loving to everybody when he said love all serve all when i love none serve none how can i be sai devotee therefore first of all let me follow teachings first of all let me build up this organization powerfully to attract everybody be ideal then people automatically will come here not simply by blaming them or attacking them it's not the way lacuna here may be a factor for the development may be so let us examine ourselves self audit self evaluation improve so that all the world will be happy happy year to spend their life here in meditation in prayer living with god within thank you very much le deve chiedere che cosa sta facendo l'organizzazione satya sai per questa frode se stanno facendo qualcosa satya sai center si chiama la messa di stasera verrà ah io ah yes i would say that such sai centers across the world to uh, to the best of my imagination based on my 45 years of experience i would make certain suggestions number one from the organization point of view make a local man as the president of sai center so the local people will be encouraged let not people from outside be the president of any center that all centers have local people as heads number 2 a specific period for your position just as in america everyone is given two terms to be the president of america two terms that's all even that by giving specific time for performance they will be at their best and others also will get a chance and third thing is our activity should be so designed to suit the local needs local requirements what we need in america is not necessary in india what our needs here are different from america so let us not have same formula for every size center let us have a kind of design a format based on the needs and the of the local people that's what i feel and fourth thing is what i want is this let us not compare ourselves let us not compete with others let us be at best what we can within the framework of our time and resources fifthly let us build up our organization on spiritual basis don't be dogmatic don't be narrow minded speak unity of religions everywhere that's all whatever i speak it should be based on unity of all religions that should be in our action and it should be expressed by word everywhere and six the strength of the organization depends on the service activities not by lectures not by preaching not by paper press notification such a organization is based on service service is a practical field 
And then the seventh thing I would rather suggest is, let us not declare I'm, my center is the best. Uh, my country is best. How do you say? Let us know what other things are happening others outside. So that let us learn from others. Each one, teach one is what I believe in. Let me learn from you so that you can learn from me. It's a question of give and take. Adding to this, we should be in constant touch with Sai message, Sai literature, which is, which is available in 64 volumes. 15, vol 15 books are written by him. 15 books, volumes, containing speeches for students. When you have a lot of literature available, not knowing anything, just sitting, occupying a, a position, and go on criticizing else, that is not the ideal way. We should be in regular touch with his message. And we should practice the message by getting involved in service activities. His message is universal. His message is secular. His message is practical. Let us realize it and let us propagate it. And then the rules and regulations we, we have should promote an activity, should never prevent an activity. Sometimes, unfortunately, the rules and regulations are preventing activities. That is, that is a, a great damage to the organization. Therefore, let us promote an activity. Let not rules and regulations make you more egoistic, more dictatorial, not bureaucratic. You should be freely, you should be free. You should be free so that everybody are welcome. Therefore, let's not restrict ourselves. Let's not grow in ego. Let us not exercise our authority and domination over everybody. That is not accepted today. In the previous days, it might have worked out. Today, it will not work out. We should be free. We should be loving. We should be democratic. We should ex expansion of love is life, as what Baba said. Expansion of love is life. That what we are supposed to do today. This is what I convey to my brothers and sisters, to Sai centers across the world. Let us be messengers of Sai. Let us be a role model to the entire society at the individual level as a Sai center at all levels. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sairam. Sairam.